Ade, thank you so much for being here. Um, oh. I know, I know you're extremely busy. But before we say all this, before we say you know, thank you and all that, I want to wish you happy birthday, happy fiftieth birthday. You are such an icon, and you are somebody that I really look up to. Um, you have done incredible. Your journey of fitness is incredible, and your personality is impeccable. So, <laughs> so I thank you for taking the time to speak to me. Yeah, thank you for having me, Laila, and hello everyone. Please, first of all, pardon my lousy English. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you can speak Indonesian because my lousy Indonesian also I can understand. <laughs> yeah. So. So, Adi, I know that you've been uh, on a lot of shows um, uh, imparting wisdom, uh, the knowledge that you have. And mm -hmm. um, I was ta telling the audience that uh, you are one of the per person that I really admire because you're very calm. Um, the, the years that I've known you, you are very calm. Every time I, we, I, I ask you a question and you go like, and you, you laugh and, you, and then you always explain very calmly and very, um, it's incredible to me. I, one day, one day, hopefully I'll be the same like you. So this, <laughs> this series, I just want to get to know you a little bit better. Yes, um, yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where do you come from? I know you come from Indonesia, but where exactly in Indonesia? Okay, yeah, my, my dad is a Balinese. My mom, my mom is a Chinese-Indonesian, yeah. And uh, yeah, I was born in Jakarta. Uh, 50 years ago, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, start, I started my bodybuilding journey uh, maybe 35 years ago, in 1984. Yeah, my, I start my competitive, competitive bodybuilding journey uh, in late, late 80s, yeah. Yeah, and then I retired from bodybuilding competition actually almost 20 years ago, but, but never retired. Uh, I mean, as a lifestyle, of course, it's never, never retired, you know, bodybuilding as a lifestyle. But as a competitive, I retired uh, year 2000. Uh, that was uh, my last competition was in New York and in California where I compete in uh, uh, World Drug Free Bodybuilding Competition, uh, Massa Mania, and then also Massa Mania World and uh, Super Body Championships in, 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 in New York. Yeah, that's, that's about it. I compete in IFBB uh, since 1995 to 1998. Uh, my first Southeast Asia competition was in Singapore at that time <laughs> in 1995. That's why I have so many brothers now from Singapore since then. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean like my all my fellow competitors from Singapore is just like my brother now. I mean we grew up together since twenty five years ago. So it's kinda nice. And then since year two thousand I'm focusing more on uh, promoting bodybuilding as a lifestyle and then hopefully can contribute healthy living to uh, to the behavior of the people in Indonesia. So basically, right. that's about it, Laila. <laughs> that's about it. That's a lot. <laughs> what an accomplishment. Um, yeah. how, why, why did you get started? How did you get started? What inspired you to get started? Yeah, actually, I used to be an arm wrestler before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, um, I, I was born... As a baby, only two and a half kilos, and then when I was reached uh, 14 years old, uh, my weight, my height is the same, like six feet, uh, five, uh, five eleven and a half is 183 centimeters, with the body weight is only 55 kilograms, right? But at that mm -hmm. time, I I'm wrestling, so uh, because of the arm wrestling, I got introduced to the weight training because I want to make sure that I can improve my strength especially when it comes to my arms but i end up the whole body is start to getting bigger <laughs> and then um, my friend told me hey, why don't you uh, join the bodybuilding competition at that time so that's why i i i got introduced to bodybuilding yeah but in the beginning was uh, was uh, arm wrestling competition actually is the one that i i participate in. Yeah. 
Okay, so, um, so can you tell us uh, like your daily routine, like when you wake up in the morning, what is your daily routine that you you stick to? Because I know it takes a lot of discipline to look like you and, you know. <laughs> actually, uh, discipline is just a statement that, that people give it to you, yeah. But actually, I mean, to me, I mean, like sometimes you just enjoy what you're doing and then sometimes people judge that as, a, oh, you're a disciplined kind of guy. But actually, mm-hmm. I mean, comes to the discipline is like the foundation has to be i mean uh it's understanding if you understanding what you are doing then usually discipline is just become part of your life you know i mean i never feel like i'm i'm a disciplined kind of guy or you know like it's just like i just love what i'm doing even if i let's say if i have to go back again and then let's say I didn't have a chance to win the competition or didn't have a chance to have this opportunity like today still I mean like I'm still just do what what I like to do yeah so I mean bodybuilding or fitness is my passion I mean like every day I train uh, I pay attention on what I'm eating it's just like a lifestyle you know I mean like if you're asking me that question it's like what, what, what am I doing from the morning until actually it's nothing special or anything. I mean, I just do what, 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 what most of the people do, you know. Like, I just want to make sure that every day, it's just like people taking a shower every day, they brush their teeth every day. So I just like training every day also. And then uh, since 1991 until today, I mean, I try to keep my weight the same, like uh, 85 to 90 kilos. So because at that time, I used to compete in light heavy weight. And then I try to keep my uh, uh, body fat is is no more than ten percent, so just between five and ten, you know. So until today, so I mean, like I'm just grateful uh, with my lifestyle. I mean, like so far until today, I always, uh, I mean, I always know that the, the legacy of of bodybuilding or fitness lifestyle or healthy living is the the self-reliance is independency, you know, it's mm. not yet. So that's why, I mean, like, I, I want to make sure that, 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 that I have that, that, that path. That, that's the kind of path that I want to go through, you know. So that's why, to me, I mean, like, uh, uh, being healthy or being fit is not, it's not a destination. It's just a requirement that you need to do, I guess, yeah. But, but how do you get so wise? That's my real question, like, <laughs> oh, how can one become so wise like you like even a quarter <laughs> oh yeah probably i'm just uh getting sick and tired of of having too much ego i guess <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> i can't i can i can never imagine you with any ego Ade. i really can't no i think when i was young i mean i i made a lot of mistake and everything so i mean like i just I, I always believe that the the it's not about the survival or the fittest, but it's the survival or the wisest, you know. So that's why I mean, like, uh, definition of of being healthy to me is like we have ability to create pleasantness to our own body, not just our own body, but also our own mind and also our own life energy, also, you know. So it's not just 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 the body itself, and plus. Mm-hmm. At the end, you realize it's just like you're not your body, you're not your mind also. So it's just like, yeah. But to me, I mean, like, this is just like a profession. And then, I mean, uh, because, I mean, I still live in this body. Uh, that's why I need to take care of this body. It's just like you still need your car, you still need your house. So you just pay attention on what you're you're doing. Just pay attention. Uh, just taking care of the house, taking care of the car. So you're also taking care of the body. So, I mean, it's just like... It's nothing personal or anything. <laughs> yeah, I just make but, it simple. Yeah, you make it simple, but it, it, sometimes simplicity is the most, the hardest thing for most people to do. So, I what I'm curious about is, when have you always been like this, or when did it click? One day something happened, and then you just you step back and you start analyzing and you start realizing. That's that's what I would like to know. Yeah, I think I think probably uh, it's one step at a time, you know. I mean, like, I realize it's just like it's kind of funny with the human beings, you know. Sometimes we are bragging to the plants, to the animal that we are this more superior uh, beings compared creature compared to them. But the thing is with the plants and animal, they're just like laughing behind us because they said it's just like, it's, look at the human. I mean, like, human has 
has the brain, has the mind and everything, but how come the brain and the mind is supposed to be their strength, it's become their weakness. And in, uh, like a plant or animal having a stress life, you know, <laughs> only human being, you know, so it's kind of funny. And then also when you look at the, the statistic of the, of the, uh, the, the disease, yeah, you know, I mean, like because of the obesity, because of the smoking, because of that, and also because of the stress. So that's why, I mean, like, it's kind of funny uh, human being, you know, I mean, like, they they are so smart, but at the same time, they cannot take advantage of the, their brain or their mind. So that's why, to me, I mean, like, our mind is the accumulation of the data, information that we are gathered. I start to realize step by step that it's just like, oh, wow, probably there's so much data that I have that is like disempowering me rather than empowering myself. So that's why I just thought just take take a step back for a while and then it's just like, oh, I mean like I want to use my mind rather than my mind using me. So I think that's the reason why people cannot get that simple because their mind is playing trick on them. And then what they don't realize is like their thought is like uh, every day 14 to 16,000 thoughts a day uh, mostly are repetitive, mostly are unnecessary, mostly are uh, not important, 85% negativity and 90% more unreliable. <laughs> so can you imagine, I mean, like you try to... with your mind, but actually, I mean, like you don't have ability to control the content of your mind because with your five senses, right? I mean, like coming from everywhere, including you open your social media and then it's just like, Everything is just like in your head. Just imagine, I mean, like you have so much in your head, but if you're not smart enough or if you're not wise enough to identify with that kind of content in your head, with that rubbish in your head, then your life is going to be misunderstanding all the way. <laughs> That's why, I mean, I like uh, the, the quote from Mark Twain said, it's just like, what makes you in trouble is not, what you don't know, but what makes you in trouble is what you know for sure, but it just ain't so. <laughs> you know, like so many people are in Indonesia, we call it so tau gitu. <laughs> like, like they thought they have everything, but actually what they know is, is, is the one that, 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 that makes them suffer. So, I mean, just, just use your head wisely, you know, sometimes. That's why rather than pay attention on the head, just pay attention on the breath, on the body. <laughs> right. I, yeah, I think that's what it's all about. Do you ever get angry? Oh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> all the time. I mean, like, but the thing is, like, sometimes when you're you're angry, sometimes it's just like, why are you angry? It's just because you identify yourself with the with that kind of rubbish, right? It's just like mostly are angry is just like misunderstanding to your body, you know, like. This is the thing, you know, I mean, like, can you imagine, like, 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 you have this, this, this car, yeah, you have the wheels, you have the steering, you have the, you know, uh, the mirrors and everything. I mean, like, it's kind of funny with a human being because they have so much self-importance, you know, but the thing is, like, just, just imagine if you can in charge of your body, if you can in charge of your mind, if you can in charge of your emotion you can in charge of your life energy i think it's kind of nice but the thing is people the body wants to rest but the mind wants to think and then the emotion wants to do something else so can you imagine it's just yourself you cannot handle those kind of things it's just like there is no harmony uh, inside ourselves so uh, that's why i mean when i look at myself it's like oh wow i'm such a big failure you know i mean like like right now, two o'clock in the morning, I supposed to rest, like my, my body needs to rest, but my mind is keep going on and on and on, you know? So I start to, I mean, like, that's what I call it a self-study. Self-study means like swadaya, it's like, a, it's kind of nice, you know? I mean, like, like the, the, the most interesting object that we need to learn, I think is, is about, about ourselves. I think that's, that's the thing, but most of the people there, focusing on other things you know like they like to to learn about this that but they, what what they forget is they they need to learn about themselves that's why i told people it's like sometimes we have so so much expectation to others you know like for example like i want to change the world i want to change my life and everything but life and the world won't change for you but the thing is if you can change the way you look at world 
if you can change the way you look at your life and then suddenly the world and life is changed for you you know it's just like the mindset i mean that's why i mean like you have that mind you have that brain you have that strength why don't you use it but instead like we are so stressful about this about that it's just like we are we are not living in a harmony so that's why i mean like oh wow i mean like i'm i'm a big screw up person so that's why i thought it's just like oh maybe i just need to step back a little bit and then and take myself lightly you know i mean like sometimes people uh having a misunderstanding when it comes to identify themselves like i'm what i have i'm what i do i'm what other people thinks of me i'm my possession i'm my achievements i'm my reputation but actually i mean like reputation achievements possession come and go you know because mm. when you have it it's nice you said like this is who i am but the thing is when it's go that means you have to lose yourself so that's why to me i mean like that's i think that's the definition of 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 ego itself you know everything good is outside you know like i'm what i have i'm what i do i'm what other people think of me i mean like it's just like a big misunderstanding so that's why i mean like i i love to 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 look within rather than to look without you know i mean like i like to do that you know because it's the same thing also when i try to apply when i when i when i when i start my bodybuilding career you know just imagine fate of your victory <laughs> it depends on other people's behavior if they are lazy they're not working out they're not dieting and then you're happy because it's like oh yeah they're just they're not doing well and then so i got this victory you know but actually it's not like that at all i mean the fate of your feeling is depend on yourself so when i look at my bodybuilding career it is the same thing there is no such thing as this guy beat me or i beat them but the reason why they beat me is just because when i look at myself it's just like oh probably there's a certain area in my body part that probably i can still improve but i didn't do it or probably maybe because of the 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 things that i do when it comes to the dieting part it's just like i didn't do my homeworks then you know like i mean like smart people they they learn from their mistake you know wise people they learn from other people's mistake which is that's the best thing so that's why i told you i mean being being wise is is the best thing because if you're wise enough to yourself i mean like you don't it doesn't require too much energy or 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 too much everything you know because you just look at them and then you just can pick the lesson yeah but mm-hmm. stupid people never learn from their mistake but actually there is no such thing as a stupid people why right. because actually they're not stupid they just thought that it's just like hey it's not my fault it's their fault so they're the one that needs to fix it <laughs> it's not mine you know so that's why i mean like uh i try to aware of that you know that's why i mean like uh, every time i have something that i don't want it or i don't like it i end up in that position i just thought maybe i just need to look at the bright side you know it's just like this i mean like we made a mistake every day we forgive ourselves every day you know i mean like there's always lesson everywhere including like me i mean i've been doing bodybuilding for 35 years i doing it drug free naturally you know it's just like because to me when i look at myself it's just like i'm not just a bodybuilder i'm not just a sportsman but i'm also a student and i'm also an artist an artist for example like a uh, painters they use canvas as a media for them to express their artwork if you're a carver or sculptor they use maybe stones or woods as a media for them to express their artwork but if you're a bodybuilder if you're a miss fitness for example you're um, uh, uh uh what do you call it like right now uh, mr physique yeah physique <laughs> physique mm-hmm. you use your body as a media for you to express your art or work that's why to me i mean like my career city since a long time ago i mean i realized it's just like body the legacy of bodybuilding is self reliance you're a health champion muscularity is supposedly go hand in hand with vitality and health just imagine yeah i mean like you're taking something you're taking drugs steroids or growth hormone or whatever uh performance enhancer and then you look good because of that just imagine i mean like that situation when you look at the level or of artistry 
is is very very low just like in indonesia or in malaysia or in singapore or whatever uh, wherever that we have a batik for example yeah you know batik yeah yes yes you know i mean like if you have a batik was designed by the machines i mean the the price but is lower compared to the design of the handmade you know like the handmade you know handmade batik you know but the handmade batik requires longer time but with the ma- machine it's just like faster mm-hmm. but because of our knowledge or our awareness of the batik is that high that's why you realize it's just like handmade batik is more expensive than the machine product batik right but the thing is mm-hmm. what it, the other way around it's just like people who's taking lots of thing and then they're the one that get the recognition but we are the one that doing naturally and drawing and everything it's like we don't have a recognition but to me i everybody you are an artist you're not what other people thinks of you that's why i told people it's just like it's not about the the medals it's not about the trophies it's not about the titles i mean you're an artist i mean you use that you know just like you're a singer just like you're a dancer it's not necessary you need to compete and then try to beat other people you know i mean like it's nothing like that it's more on like like you do it because because that's who you are you know you like what you are doing you know it's just like that's why to me i mean like i'm an artist i'm a physical culturist i'm not saying i'm a competitive bodybuilder or whatever some people they are they are proud i mean uh, winning the titles yeah this their title although i also uh grateful that i won the mr asia i mean uh, master mania world super body world and everything yeah but i mean like the title is just a symbol you know there's a, a wise man said like this is like the the opposite of courage is not as smart as fear but the opposite of courage is is confirmity what is what it, what is what's that mean what's that mean is just like confirmity is just like like we are craving to get confirmed all the time confirmed mm-hmm. by the it confirmed by the trophy confirmed by a nice house nice car just to tell you that you're 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 you have that wealth you know you you told people that i have this title this certificate because i'm smart or I told people that I'm a champion look at my trophies right mm. but actually, I mean like two days before you won the competition I mean like you're a champion already and two days after the competition you're a champion already so mm. so it's it's just the symbol you know like like the trophy but two days before you won the world champion but you never feel like you're a champion because 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 we are coward <laughs> so that's why I mean like uh, right. just be brave be i mean like if you have that courage you don't need this kind of things that's why i told all my fellow natural bodybuilders i mean it's like it doesn't matter what people uh compare to you you know like most of the people are huge big especially nowadays when the technology is getting better and better yeah you can yeah. see you know, like i mean like last past 10 years suddenly everybody is like huge like big like big you know but but before that technology like when you look back at 20 years ago like when i started or when i compete in in 1995 97 it's like like nobody like nobody even like i go all over the world even go to the new new york to italy to everywhere it's just like people looks the same but now they look like monsters like monsters <laughs> you know it's like wow i mean it's like what what's happening with this situation that's why i mean like like sometimes i mean like like bodybuilding is just like uh, especially when the more people taking something and rely on that 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 so called technology i mean like is is i mean like the the future of the 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 sport itself is getting lower and lower that's why i mean like i appreciate other sports like for example like mma for example i mean like they are the most fastest uh apa ya growing sports right mm. like drive is like everybody can just like take everything but actually the legacy of the competition itself is supposedly is the sportivity you know is sportivity means it's just like like it's supposed to be everything compete in an equal 
a battleground, you know? Yeah. Like fair play, I mean fair play. So, right. uh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> What, what, what do you think about now uh, there are more and more women uh, getting into fitness, especially bodybuilding? Uh, yeah. I was going to ask you how you see, um, you know, the transformation from bodybuilding 35 years ago and now, and you've, you've covered that. Now we want to touch about women getting into fitness and bodybuilding. So, Wow, I mean, like, I, I appreciate everything, you know. I mean, not just the women. I mean, like, when you look at the information, education, I mean, like, it's everything is side by side. Maybe I'm uh, uh, just now uh, before uh, earlier. I'm focusing on maybe the the bad part of the of the of the of the of the growing of the bodybuilding and the fitness. But the 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 good part. I mean, like that's the one that you just mentioned. I mean, like a long time ago, you remember, right, Laila? Like it's just like women. They look at the weights and then it's just like, oh, I don't wanna, you know. Like even they touch it a little bit, they say like, oh, I don't wanna look like a guy, you know. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> you know, like they don't they don't have that knowledge like they have it right now, and even like right now, like they have so many like role models, including like you, Laila. You know, when people look at you, it's just like. Oh, of like all women's all over Asia, all over the world. It's just like to look at you. Wow! I, if I grew up, I want to be like Lila, you know. So it's just, <laughs> you know. And then you can also, uh, uh, I mean, like you have that balance also. I mean, like the beauty, but at the same, but at the same time, it's also strength and everything. So I think that's that's what's good about the uh, women fitness. You know, I mean, it's it's so nice. Like a long time ago. Maybe there's some misunderstanding because uh, we only exposed by a female bodybuilder, like who's who's probably taking the male hormones and they inject it, they put it in their body, and then that's why when they look at women, it's just like, oh, I, I don't want, and then suddenly they blame it on the irons, you know, they blame it on the weights, yeah. But right. nowadays, uh, people are start to get to notice. I mean, I think. The growth of bodybuilding last past uh, 10 years, I think it's just like from ignorance to knowledge, you know, like that's the journey. I mean, like now the information, especially with the social media, when you look look at the positive side of the social media, it's just like you start to get educated, you start to get motivated, you get to start, uh, to start. I mean, like it's so many positive things, you know, I mean, like even like right now, you and me, like right now we are through IG live we can we can we can discuss about this i mean it's like don't you think it's like something that we should be grateful so i mean like same thing with our mind the technology is same thing don't let the technology using you but it's the other way around we are using the technology and then when we are talking a long time ago we are talking through phones it's mm -hmm. only you and we can listen to uh, to this conversation but look at now today right. with kind of technology i mean like like hundreds or thousands of people can listen to us. I mean, like, I'm just so grateful. And then one of the, one of the thing that I appreciate the most is just like, uh, especially during this time, like, yeah, during this time, it's just like sharing and accept, share from others, you know, mm -hmm. and accepting, you know, or receiving. It's just like the, the, the things that, 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 that you need to do to improve your 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 health, your your immune system, your immune health, right? You know, there's a there's a, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's like a, is it like a survey? Like a, um, when it's like a uh, it's not a survey, but it's more on like a, mm, I mean, this is more like a knowledge, yeah? more like a knowledge. When you, you give something to others, like when you share something, yes, your immune system is going up. The person that accept your gift or accept your share is just like the, the person is also the immune system are going up. But the good thing about this research is like uh, the third person who watch you give that guy something, they just like watch you, just watching, just witnessing. And then they test them also. And then they also improve their, 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 their immune system. So what I'm trying to say about this research is like, uh, just let us get exposed by those kind of story. Like when you watch people 
if doing goods to other it will improve your immune system including like you and me like right now we we give them some story some this and that and then they listen and then suddenly we have we got the immune our immune system improve they got the immune system improved. it's just like win win situation um we'll always look back at the mistakes people sometimes look at their mistakes and regret and not want to let go instead of looking at it and do better in the future so maybe that's yeah. that's what it is yeah i mean i mean everybody have their ability to forgive themselves right so yes. i mean it's them sometimes they have so many like a self important they're like i cannot forgive myself i cannot it's just like 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 you're acting like you're responsible people but 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 i mean like if you know healthy living you realize it's mm. just like you don't want to live in regrets you don't want to live in a uh, feeling guilty you don't yeah. want to live in past you know i mean it's like your mind is playing trick on you they like to throw you to the past or where uh, uh, they lead you to fears and worry or sometimes like today i mean like because of the uncertainty of the future i mean uh, the the monkey mind is likes to take you to the future the uncertainty of the future where where you feel like you are just like worry and fears you know so mm. that's why like this is the the good thing about 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 indonesian people yeah, especially i mean like uh, like we have that that keikhlasan you know like yes. ikhlas class means like a power of acceptance you know i mean like if you don't accept the uncertainty of the future then you feel fears and worries but if you accept it then it's become an adventure mm -hmm. if you uh, don't accept it the when people uh, hurt your feeling or whatever but uh, it becomes like a anger or become a, like a hate or whatever yeah but if you are uh accept that that things that 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 the other people is sometimes it's just like they they just hurt your feeling when you accept it it's become a forgiveness yeah. also when you look at the the competitive side like bodybuilder or like a miss fitness or whatever sometimes when we compete when we look at other people who's doing better than us if you don't accept it it's become a jealousy but if you accept it it's become motivasi it's become motivation for you you know so i mean like like during this time i think it's kind of nice if if you just like just 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 accept the things as it is you know i mean loving mm -hmm. what rather rather than loving what what if you know so right. i mean like, right. like that's what is all about um so you are a great the reason i i would like to um have this interview with you because i see you as a great voice that a lot of indonesians and around the world people that know you uh, respect what you say uh and you have to me this is my personal view you have a powerful voice that can help people deal with this uh, covid-19 um so could you like um and share and advice in Indonesians to make them realize that this is a serious epidemic a pandemic um how can everyone stay healthy keep their immune system uh, high um and reduce mental anxieties during this this pandemic yeah 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 i mean like this is kind of challenging for everybody you know i mean like uh the thing is people sometimes they are focusing more on the sickness rather than their immune health yeah, yeah? i mean like when you are focusing on the disease when you are focusing on the infection when you are focusing on all oh, this virus is dangerous this and that i mean it doesn't matter i mean it's fine but the thing is like you cannot busy analyzing the darkness but you are expecting to find the light you cannot do that you you're busy analyzing the the poverty but expecting to be wealth you know you cannot i mean like you're busy analyzing the, the your weaknessing but at a weakness at the same time you're you're you you try to find the strength so i mean like uh, i mean like i don't want to spend my time uh, i mean analyzing all the all these things you know i mean it's not my capacity also what i'm focusing is like i'm focusing on the immune system you know i mean like 
like your body is the most sophisticated gadget in the whole world you know like what you know and what you don't know what you don't know is huge is is fast you know like 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 your body can adapt that's why when you're talking about immune, immune system you know mm -hmm. i mean just it's just like so complicated there's a innate immune system interferon there's a adaptive immune system you can talk about the microbiome you can talk all those kind of thing i mean like that body has that ability to to take care of themselves but the thing is like human being they are just like so snob and then they thought it's just like oh yeah i can do i mean like <laughs> that's why i mean like they rely on this they rely on that including like when you look at the i mean like masculinity supposedly go hand in hand with health and vitality but look look what happened right now it's just like <laughs> like they don't really care it's just like they, they just put everything inside and then suddenly they they lost the the meaning of uh, in the beginning where we are thinking about like like bodybuilding is supposedly important for nation building bodybuilding is supposedly go hand in hand with with health but but it's not happening so I, what i'm trying to say to the my fellow indonesian is just like everything needs to keep it simple just focusing on what you want not what you don't want if you like i don't want to get sick i don't want to get that i don't want to get sick i don't want to get infected i want to just i mean like why bother you are focusing on that you know it's just like uh, you cannot find the health with the foundation of fears like fears of getting sick you cannot do that you know like 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 you want to win the competition instead like instead of you're focusing on like what should i do to win that competition what should i do to improve my body what should i do to improve my diets or what should i do to improve my my training strategy but instead you're just like like you're focusing how come if i lost this it's just like oh if i lost you know what should i do what should i tell people if i lost you know like why bother thinking that yeah. way you know that's why to me i mean it's right. like like uh i mean uh just just focusing on what you are not focusing on 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 what you don't want and and plus also uh sometimes we get surprised by people that hey they have a uh i mean like this person is like they she lives a healthy living but how can she get cancer right so when you ask them when you ask this person and then you start to realize that it's just like there's a very important person from the this this person who get cancer but actually she's doing very healthy living yeah right. you find you know what what you find out what you find out is just like this is the thing that she admits is just like you know the reason why i feel this way i mean like it's just because i realized she told me that i realized it's just like the reason why i want to get healthy i want to pay attention on what i'm eating i want to do this organic food i want to be plant based this and that and then i want to train every day and everything it's just because i'm fear of being sick so can you imagine it's just like like fear is is something yeah. that is just yeah it's just like something you don't want to do it. you know i mean like once your fear that's why your adrenal system may are focusing got dominated by uh, sympathetic nervous system the mode is uh, fight or flight and then you expect your body to have that immune system to 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 be work yeah or the immune system i i don't think so that's yeah. why i mean like like you just need to be wise not uh, at least just wise to yourself yeah. just create create pleasantness to your own body to your own mind to your own emotion and to your own life energy i think yeah through yeah. workout exercise breathing control also to pay attention to what you are eating your food intake yes. and then yes. your rest and then communion with nature also i mean like that's the best thing you know like if you have a pets <laughs> animals for example if you have a plants if you want to do that you go to your garden or you can you can do lots of things i mean you go to the beach and then put your feet on the on the sands or you just like me i live in bandung and just like try to breathe enjoy the the fresh the air. nature fresh area yeah. yeah i mean like you use your your mask wisely yeah. <laughs> i mean like it's a fresh air but yeah. instead you just right cover yourself so you don't want to do that
Right. But I also think I would also like to emphasize the hygiene where you have to wash your hands with soap. Uh, and yeah. now the most important thing is to do safe distancing. Um, and it's a community, a global community effort. And it's not just about you yourself because it affects everyone, every one of us. Uh, one country cannot open up unless other countries as well, too. So it affects everyone in the world at the moment. Uh, I do not want to go over because then it will cut off and then, you know, drive me crazy because I'm not as calm as you. Uh, <laughs> I want to ask you one, <laughs> one um, question is that, what, that's, what's one thing that people do not know about you? Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody knows everything okay. about you, so you're an open book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if people know or doesn't know. I mean, what, what? Hopefully, I mean, like during this carnation, if uh, I mean, if people can take advantage of 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 me, I mean, if I can help them, it's kind of nice. So it's it doesn't matter what people think of me. I mean, like. It's but fine. but you've always been that, Adi. You know, even before this pandemic, any time that people ask you for help, you are always there. So there's not, no difference because of this pandemic. You've always a great uh, uh, educator. You're always sharing uh, sharing your knowledge, and you always accommodate when you can. Uh, and most of the time, you you try. So that's one thing that I really admire. That's another thing that I really admire about you. So before we finish off, um, any uh, last words for your fellow Indonesians? Uh, I've missed Indonesia. I want everybody to be well so I can come back, you know, and be <laughs> around you guys again. So is there any last words that you would like to uh, send? Uh, you can speak in Indonesian. So I see a lot of people saying that they don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, baik. I speak in Bahasa. <laughs> Ya buat teman-teman yes, saya rasa uh, dalam situasi seperti ini ya buat teman-teman saya rasa yang penting hanya sabar dan ikhlas ya sabar dan ikhlas aja ya mudah-mudahan ini semua bisa berlalu tapi kembali lagi jangan lupa untuk uh, selalu terbuka terhadap yang namanya edukasi informasi karena hanya kita yang tidak peduli makanya kita akan menyerahkan yang namanya kesehatan itu kepada orang lain nasib kesehatan kita di tangan kita sendiri the fate of our health is is on our hands so just keep educating yourself inform yourself about healthy living so it's kind of nice because the more you edu- uh, the more you are well educated is 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 the less confused you are you know because sometimes confused leads to fears and worries but if you understand the whole situation i mean like you 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 understand the 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 healthy living and everything there's nothing to worry about you know i mean like it is what it is i mean like we just accept the thing as like right now but we can move on and then you're yeah, just focusing on on what you want yeah. great thank you so much ade um it was really yeah. a pleasure uh speaking to you and everyone uh thanks for tuning in i think they're cutting us off in about 2 minutes ade i'll see you soon hopefully the borders will open and thank you, thank you. take good care see you Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.